Okay. What I want to do is show you the graph y equals negative 3x plus 18x minus 30. So remember, this is a quadratic equation, right? Meaning it can be written in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and also your coefficients um, and your constants. So remember, with all quadratics, we can find the line of symmetry. And when graphing a quadratic, that's one of the most important pieces of information that we want to determine. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to determine what is my line of symmetry. So I'm going to take uh, my b, which is opposite of b, which is going to be 18, and divide it by my 2 times a. So I'm going to say x equals my line of symmetry, which remember was opposite of b divided by 2 times a. All right. So I have 2 divided by negative 2 times negative 3 is going to be uh, negative 6. Negative 18 divided by negative 6 equals x equals Three. So when we look at that, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. So at three, I have a line of symmetry. That means my parabola is going to be symmetric about this line. Meaning whatever's on the left side of this line, I can kind of flip over and that's going to be on the right side of the line. So the next important piece of information is now to find the vertex. So to remember to find the vertex, my parabola, the high and the low point of my parabola, has to, is on this line of symmetry. So therefore, I know the x value of it. I just need to determine now what the y value is. So if x equals 3, what is y equal? So to determine that, we just plug 3 in for x. So I have negative 3 times 3 squared plus 18 times 3 minus 30. Well, 3 squared is 9. 9 times negative 3 equals a negative 27. Uh, 18 times 3 is going to be 36. It's going to be a positive 54 minus 30. So therefore I have a negative um, 57 as I combine my negative numbers plus 54. So therefore y equals negative 3. So therefore I go to over 3 and then I go down 3 and that's going to be my vertex. Now I don't know right now if that's going to be a maximum or a minimum. I need to pick values that are going to kind of show me the shape of the graph. So remember we use a table of values. Now which values do you want to pick? Well you always want to pick points that are going to be on the left and on the right side of your vertex because once you know one side of the vertex, you can find the symmetrical point on the other side. So I'm just actually going to pick two points on the left side and then what we'll do is we'll transform them over to the right side. So let's pick one and two, huh? Seems all right. So I'm going to say x, y, and let's determine what one and two are. So y equals negative uh, three times one squared plus 18 times 1 minus 30. Well, that becomes negative 3 plus 18 minus 30. I don't remember this is my answer. That's, yeah, that's still our, my rant. So I'm going to do my 1. Okay, I guess that was my answer. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. So I get y equals negative 15. I worked the problem a little bit before, so I was like, oh, what is that answer again? All right, so yeah, y equals negative 15. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So at y equals 1, x equals 15. So I can actually notice that my distance is over 2 there, so I'm going to go over 2 here. So what I notice is also when x equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, when x equals 5, I also get 15. Now let's go and check y equals 2. So 2 squared is 4. 4 times negative 3 is a negative 12 plus 36 minus 30. And therefore when y equals 2, I get y equals negative 6. So at 2, I go down 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And remember, that's a distance of 1 over, so I can make this symmetrical. And therefore, hopefully you can see now, kind of like the, the lining of my, um, of my parabola. And this is that 3 comma negative 3. All right? Because remember, it's going to be a U-shaped graph to connecting all these points. Now, it's going to go infinitely down, but it's going to go through a nice little curvature. And yeah, it's not the prettiest one of all. However, you can see what my graph looks like. So ladies and gentlemen, just to kind of recap, when graphing parabolas, the first thing you want to do is determine your A, B, and C 
find the axis of symmetry, then plug that point in to find your vertex. Once you know your vertex and your axis of symmetry, choose points to the left and to the right um, of your graph to be able to then plot the rest of your points using the symmetry. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you uh, hope that helped you out. And for now on, you can go and graph on those worksheets. Thanks.